So I just want to make a quick video here about on YouTube about this. So I just made a discovery. I was I was just transferring files between systems and had somebody took me to task for using a SCP because it's quote insecure. And I was like, what do you mean it's insecure? It's not insecure. I've been using it for year, decades. And, and then it, we uncovered a ton of reasons that it is insecure. At least it was. Um, and uh, just cutting to the chase that, that even after they fixed a bunch of the stuff in the SCP, uh, that the, the vulnerability, uh, still exists with Dash R. So, um, uh, computer nerd summarizes that the issue was that SCP was, it was possible for the server that gets the file to request from a client, then can then change the file destination after it's received it. And it was a pretty big bug apparently. And that was fixed a long time ago, like years ago in SCP, if you use SCP properly, um, and for this reason, things like SSHFS, which is, you know, dubious decision to use it anyway, but they use F SFTP and there's a bunch of people that were saying that you should use F SFTP uh, instead uh, and that the newer SCP is using F SFTP actual under the hood and you don't even see it before it was using RCP. Um, but there's still some debate about whether, about whether SCP-R is safe. And... I just want to say that if you're using SCP-R, you should probably be using RSync anyway. And um, we've had a, a lot of people uh, share their aliases for RSync instead. And the reason, I mean, I've often suggested this to people because RSync, not only is it secure because it creates an SSH tunnel and it connects the two RSync programs, which do validation of the files as they come over to make sure that it all came and everything. But it also preserves dash a with the archival thing. It preserves ownership. It preserves, preser you know, like it's within a tarball, right? It preserves ownership. It preserves, um, permissions. Um, and it's, it's a better mirror. So, you know, I'm, I'm seriously considering not using SCP anymore. I mean, it's so easy to do, but I think that I could easily change my workflow uh, to start using rsync we did to test really quick to see if rsync was on the system and sure enough it is uh it's it's in all standard uh it's, in, it's installed standard on a red hat and ubuntu uh it's a it's a better safer way to copy multiple files and it probably will do the thing you want to do so i'm going to try to to train myself after learning this just now uh to stop using scp i mean i've been using scp for my entire life so I'm going to try to start using rsync, uh, particularly for multiple files. Now, I, I'm probably going to still use rsync for a single file, which has been proven to be safe because it's using TFTP under the hood, SFTP under the hood now. Um, but I just love that. I just love the syntax of it. It's just so much easier to type. So I'm probably still going to get away with that. But for recursive copies, um, I'm not sure SCP-R is safe and... If somebody knows that it is safe, please leave it a message in the comments or something like that. And uh, we'll go ahead and do that. But otherwise, you know, look into the rsync alternatives and check out some of the other options. If you if you have a popular rsync alternative, please put that in the comments um, and and let it, let us know what you think. This is this is a very this is why I love streaming on Twitch um, because you know people will test me on things that I do all the time. And they're like, why are you doing that? That's insecure. I'm like, what? SCP is not insecure. What are you talking about? <laughs> so I'm going to try something new